All right, what's going on, guys? Hope you're all having a good day. So let me just start off this video by saying this was supposed to come out yesterday. Uh, I was actually going to upload this and basically discuss all of this info and have it out yesterday, but I was dealing with some personal stuff, so I wasn't really here making videos. And also, when I actually got around to recording the video, the patch notes itself that PUBG put out had actually been deleted. So I figured I would just wait a little bit to see when they re-upload the patch notes, just so that in case they missed anything or didn't include something or... There were some facts incorrect in there that we could go over the most updated and, you know, truthful version. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to go over all of the changes coming to PUBG. Now, these, I believe, are currently on the test server as we speak, and they're going to be coming to live servers in the next couple days. I believe it's going to happen for console and PC around roughly the same time. But they have mentioned in this post that going forward, all of these patch notes between console and PC are going to be pretty synchronized from here on out. So it's good to see. But anyways, I'm also working on a really big PUBG video that's going to be coming out with the next couple days so make sure you guys stick around for that it's going to be releasing soon and if you guys enjoyed this video though all i ask in return is a like rating that'd be great and if you're new to the channel make sure to go ahead and subscribe as around 85 percent of you guys are not currently subbed and also i do have a creator code you guys can use in pubg whether you play on pc or console you can add it to your account and i made it super easy the link to that is in the description if you use my code please let me know in the comments so i can thank you because i literally couldn't do this without you guys so i appreciate you very much but anyways i actually figured out exactly why these patch notes were deleted first and foremost foremost it wasn't a huge mistake but we'll it's something we'll get into a little bit later in the video but i do want to mention at the beginning of these patch notes they have a disclaimer that some of these changes can either be tweaked or may not even make it to the game at all so it's like they have almost a, a patch note for their patch notes i've never seen a game do this before and that's pretty interesting but i'm gonna go ahead and assume that because all of these things have been shipped to the test server that they're also coming to live server as well so the first thing we should probably talk about is weapon balance so they start off by saying that this update is basically intended to to provide alleviation to the fact that most players, especially in the endgame, were all running the same overperforming weapon. And it's pretty interesting as well because just before I stopped kind of playing the game, I did notice that the M4 was starting to be phased out of the meta a little bit. And from what I've been able to gather from PUBG players more recently, the barrel has just basically been the entire meta. That and the SLR as far as other DMRs go. Now they did mention, despite all of the nerfs that they made to the barrel over the past few months it still didn't do enough to essentially erase it from the meta or at least not to make it the only weapon people are running i think it's due to the fact that not only is the barrel just good on its base statistics but people have gotten really good at the, the game to the point where the barrel is almost as easy to use as the m4 that was the only thing really separating the two was the fact that the barrels got a lot more recoils a bit harder to use especially for newer players and there's a bit of a more barrier to entry we'll say but now it looks like the m4 or is this going to be brought up to par hopefully with the barrel and they're not necessarily nerfing the gun we can see statistically exactly how the m4 is changing they're bumping the base damage from 40 per bullet to 41 the initial bullet speed increase is going to go from 780 to 880 and then they're also extending the damage fall off range from 50 meters to 60 now the big thing here isn't damage which again it's also fairly interesting because i believe the last time i played the m4 was still doing 42 damage so they must have nerfed it pretty severely uh, in the time that I was taking a break and coming back it looks like they have rebuffed it a little bit but the biggest change in my opinion is actually the bullet velocity because one of the things about bullet speed in this game is you really develop a muscle memory for how quickly your bullets leave your gun and how much you need to lead your shots at certain distances it's kind of stuff that you just ingrain into your you know muscle memory and if that's even tweaked in the slightest it can make your shots feel very off it can make it feel like you can't hit anything like you know you used to I would say this is the most dangerous statistic to mess around with. I'm actually not even so much concerned about the damage. I think the M4 is actually in a pretty good spot with this buff. I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit more, but it's going to be this bullet velocity increase that I'm going to have to get used to again. It seems like it's all over the place, and every time they change the gun, it's like I have to relearn the same base weapon over and over again. So that should, in theory, bring the M4 back up to kind of being in the meta, but in terms of DMRs, now we also have the Mark 12 that's being added to the spawn pool in every single map both normal and ranked honestly this must have been added when i was taking a break as well and i haven't had a ton of time or opportunity to play a lot with the mark 12 i don't know exactly what maps it was exclusive to if you guys can let me know in the comments that would be great but this is something i'm looking forward to playing with a lot more now the, the fact that it does spawn on all maps means that it should get a little more love and hopefully be a legit slr competitor i feel it's the same case with the barrels not just that the weapon in terms of statistics is good like it's good on paper for sure but also 
people just got good at using the SLR. So I think this is one of the few of many balance changes that are going to be coming really soon, and hopefully this one is healthy for the meta. Honestly, I think a lot of the weapons are in a pretty good spot. Even coming back to the game, seems like everything is relatively well balanced one another, and they are making some changes to SMGs and shotguns, but they say that it's a little bit difficult to actively readjust in game these types of weapons because they need to use like several months of data to make changes and I guess that maybe these don't even get that much playtime comparatively to other things so it takes longer to gather the data that they need to readjust them. So for the next like month or so, I'm going to say that this is going to be the new map selection as winter's going away. Obviously, they're going to get rid of the Kendi and we're going to have Erangel, Miramar, Sanok, Karakin, and Taigo in the normal match rotation. So the interesting thing is, again, if you saw my last video, Sanok's going to be getting a 3.0 re remaster. It's very strange, but I think this is probably the last time we're going to see this version of Sanok ever in the queue. So if you're a fan of this map, then I recommend you get on and start playing now because it's going to either go away or get dramatically changed here soon. But after I posted that video, I saw a lot of feedback from the community, and it seems like actually right now, most people kind of hate Sanok. I, I don't think there's a whole lot of fans of that map, to be honest. I do agree that the new Sanok remaster was somewhat gimmicky, and it did take away a lot of the original charm that the original Sanok brought, and I think that there is still some room for improvement there, but we'll see what they do with these next remasters. So real quick, I want to show you guys why these patch notes were deleted in the first place. So as you can see in the current patch notes, there's something in regards to minimap and they say the colors of Miramar's minimap have been slightly adjusted to represent a clearer and more realistic appearance. And for some reason, in the original 16.1 patch notes, this just didn't exist. And I actually don't really know why they felt the need to include it. I mean, it's just like a very, very small aesthetic change that honestly, I feel like 90% of players aren't even going to notice. But nonetheless, they did feel the need to include it in these patch notes and then also there's some pretty big UI slash UX changes in regards to the friends list for the most part. Console also got some pretty big adjustments with that stuff. And again, as is, you know, typical tradition with every PUBG update, there is an absolute ton of bug fixes. And if you want to read through all those by yourself, I will leave the link to these patch notes in the description. Also, there were some changes to how ranked matches work. And also a new vehicle got added to rank specifically for Taigo that we can see. And that's basically a lot of the major stuff that was adjusted. And speaking of Taigo real quick, I was taking again some more feedback from the community on my last video and it seems like a lot of people hate Taigo just as much if not more than they hate Sanok and I guess I don't really understand why because I played Taigo when it came out, didn't play it a ton I will admit and I had a relatively decent time on the map and you know I kind of enjoyed it. I thought it was a, it's got an interesting color palette and it played relatively well so I, I guess I don't really understand the disdain for this map. I would love for you guys to enlighten me in the comments of why you think Taigo is maybe not really that good of a map. I think there's a possibility that we see some really big adjustments to Taigo in the future because if the community really doesn't like it, you know, like that, they may not include it that much in the next map rotations and with their, you know, map service announcements. So I guess we'll wait and see about that one as well. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's pretty much all of the major changes in this PUBG 16.1 update. Once again, I did say I wanted to post this yesterday, but I had a lot of personal stuff to deal with and I just wasn't able to get around to it in time. But I appreciate you guys watching nonetheless. And I'm also going to be sure to update you guys on anything else PUBG does in the future and again I'm working on a really big video that I think you guys are going to enjoy in the next couple of days so make sure to stay tuned for that but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day thank you for watching once again and I will see you all in the next video take it easy and peace out